Austin, my dad, my mom, and JR and John, they had a little dirty little secret. And I didn't know what it was. All I knew is I was going down to Hickory to test an ARCA car. I just heard I was going to test an ARCA car. That, and, and that's it. So already showing up, I was nervous because, you know, this is a, a fine piece of equipment that was provided. And so we get in the car. Um, I'm rolling like I, I feel like I'm, I'm flying, but I've never been in a car with it with this much horsepower. And from what I hear from everyone else is Austin walked over to Jamie and said, is he ready for Arca? Jamie put up the thumbs up like, yes, he's he's ready to go. And I did not know that I was testing the ARCA car to see if I was ready. I just thought I was going down there to have like, you know, a nice little fun day of testing a, a big car for maybe next year. So later on, we get pull, uh, JR calls me into the hauler with Austin. I think I'm in trouble. I thought that I did something wrong. And then everyone's sitting down. JR asked my dad and my mom if they want me to race our car. And they, they they said yes. My mom started crying a little bit and whatnot. And then JR looks at me and he, or he looks at me and then looks at Austin. And I believe Austin lo looked over and said, well, you better get ready for in four weeks. We'll be in Elko, Minnesota. I said, all right. So, well, I was I, I didn't just say all right, but I was a little more ecstatic. You should have heard me on, on the way home. I, I think I think my dad told me to shut up on, on the way home. It was a four hour drive and I couldn't stop talking about it. But that was a that's a, a an amazing story because, you know, this is when we first started working together. I mean, th th this wasn't, you know, what would you say, Austin, three months after we started working together? Yeah. Yep. And, 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 and also at that time, I know your mom, you know, your mom was a big part of your career and she was, she, you know, she was super involved and she was so proud to see you on the race. Uh, she was so proud to see you on the racetrack that day. I remember, you know, watching her sitting down in the, in the chairs and seeing you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a stock car. Um, and, uh, and then finally, when you actually got to Minnesota, Elko, which is a track I won at, and, and so I wanted you to go there because I thought it was a good track for your first race. But you know the point. The, the point was, you know, she she witnessed your first professional race, which which is I think special for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, she was there. She was there in person. You know, you, mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll remember that for years and years. Oh yeah. Well, I off on you know on the record, I do want to say this. Austin won Elko because of a certain reason, right? Because the two guys wrecked and he and he went past them. So I got my first 10 because somebody decided to uh, dump one of the cars. And I was sitting in 11th and I passed him and got, I got my first top 10. So Elko's pretty, pretty big on Austin and I's uh, scheduling. Um, well, I will say, say that because we because we had two stellar days there. Besides, you know, Austin got a hold of a trophy and I got a, I think I about damn near passed out after that race. You know, when we were going through all that stuff with my mother, you know, there was a lot of pressure on Austin because Austin had to go find the race teams. He had to let us know what we were doing. He handled every moment and aspect of what we were doing racing wise. I was, you know, off in Virginia taking care of my, my mother with my dad and my sisters. So Austin could have easily just walked away from that and said, like, basically, this is your personal shit. Deal with it. But he didn't. He 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 stepped up to the plate, took care of every single aspect that that we had to deal with, and and would take care of, you know, our rental car, take care of flights for us, you know, the team wise. Like I said, you know, getting me down there at specific days or certain tests. Austin took care of all of that, and now that you know, my my ever since my mother's passing, is. Austin and I actually work better as a team, right? And, and I will say that, and, and we've made it out of, you know, the dark days and, and all that, that stuff. And, and that's where I think, you know, the defining that is the tough part. I mean, e even when my mother did pass away that, that specific day, Austin called, you know, he was, I believe he was in Maine, but he, he called some people to come over and check on me, you know, stuff like that and, and that's why when i say you know austin is my manager but he's also family to me 
that's a that's a true statement. You know, the Austin's always going to be part of my family just based off of everything that he's all the effort he's, he's put in and, and all it is everything that he's done so far for not only me but for my family and racing career as as one of the first i i guess from from my standpoint how we being one of the first people that i you know wanted to decide or decided to work with i think it's important to see him you know through this whole process and see him be successful um uh and it hasn't been without challenges whether it's like he mentioned the diagnosis of a terminal illness and having to deal with all that while you're still trying to race at a professional level and then you know uh, sponsorship challenges which which i think any driver these days can relate to some of the best drivers um are are, are dealing with you know open races or trying to find sponsorship and you know that's a challenge we're, we're, we're going through right now but i i think that that initial illness and uh and all of that stuff that we went through together did prepare us for the challenges that we're going through now and uh and you know we're not not generally afraid to to share what we're what our opinions are and what we're dealing with and i think that's that's really important for us to move forward and i do feel quite optimistic um with kind of where how he's at right now and and uh you know we just like it like a lot of other drivers we're waiting for that you know break or a couple breaks to 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 just get him in the right spot in the right position and i think if we could and do that it's going to be uh it's going to be extremely successful but we have to be patient and and that's one of the things drivers are not always good at is being patient um you know and i and i, I could could admit that as myself being a driver and, and being a competitor always wanting to win always wanting to be first always wanting to you know be in the front of the pack and stuff and it it, it i think this this slowdown that we've encountered and 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 you know with the passing of of dawn um not that it happened at the right time, but it's just, it's, 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 it's given us some time to say, okay, we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to re regroup. We're going to refocus. And now, um, and now we can dedicate all of our focus and passion, uh, to the future and, and getting Howie at a place where he's successful. I think, I think the level of trust is, is hard to find. Uh, in other organizations or other, uh, you know, particular driver, manager, you know, mentor relationships. One of the very underrated um, things that in racing that I've encountered along along the years is just trust is very hard to come by. Um, there's a lot of second guess get second guessing that happens in racing, and um, you know. I, I, we, we, we all try to be patient with one another, but at the end of the day, it's hard. It's really hard to be successful if, 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 you know, if folks are kind of rowing the boat in different directions, they say you can't push a rope in different directions. You know, if you're working together, you really only can pull the rope in one direction. Otherwise you're, you know, we, 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 um, it just be, it's just difficult. And, and it's, it's 1% of the people make it to cup, maybe even less than that 1%. In other in other biz, in other businesses or in other ventures, you know the percentages are a lot higher than that. So, um, I'll, I'll I'll say the the word that comes to mind is trust. And I, you know, well, once we sign with Austin, I mean, the one thing about you know my family is we don't work with it with anybody that we don't trust. It, I don't care if it's business related. We we, we don't work with them. Um, and that's the one thing we put all we. We're not afraid to throw all of our eggs in one basket and go. Because you can just make more eggs eventually, right? So that's what we did with Austin. And right now, you know, with the relationships that Austin has brought us, you know, we 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 trust him fully. We know that he's going to get, get us to the place to where, that, where we all want to be, which is cup one day, whether that's a full season and Xfinity, full season and trucks. You know, we, we're going to make it happen, but, you know, Austin works his ass off, I work my ass off. There's, we're, we're destined for greatness. That's the only thing. So it's, it, it is trust. 